trucks loading up goods for the shops. This is the end of the line for products that have been manufactured by Bidco, Kenya's largest producer of household goods. In these boxes are facial soaps, detergents and cooking oils, products that many families rely on. Within the Budco stable are 40 brands and the company is adding more as it moves into food and beverage production. The, the African consumer is becoming very, very modern. They, they look at brands, they look at their hygiene, they look at their health, they look at their diets and they're looking for new products every day. And then half of the Africa is youth, the millennials. So we are focused like now, we got, we got new beverages, we are going into energy drinks, we are coming into new products, new flavors, new innovation. That's really making the African market exciting. Today's consumer in East Africa is on average younger and more discerning, which is why mixing and bottling popular soft drinks makes sense to Bitco's portfolio. We watch as conveyor belts move at dizzying speeds and bottles are filled with richly coloured liquid, a showcase of the new technology employed to make production more efficient. You've also shown me the state-of-the-art beverage section, but I see a lot of carbonated drinks. You are making soft drinks when the rest of the world is introducing sugar taxes and trying to go healthy. Isn't that counterintuitive? Well, it's what the, it's what the markets really like. And you know, the, we have got juices without preservatives, we've got water, we've got energy drink, and we've got carbonated soft drinks. So we're taking care of all the different consumer requirements. So it's written juice. Yeah. Is that phonetic? Is that because people pronounce it juice? Well, Kenyans and the East Africans and the South Africans, we, we are very trendy. So <laughs> juice is a new trendy brand. It's very famous and people love it. As African factories, become more high-tech, they're able to attract foreign skills and also younger students from the field of science who can all contribute to innovation on the factory floor. But that doesn't mean that manufacturers aren't frustrated by some of the operating challenges in their markets. First and foremost, we have to look at the cost of production in, 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 in Kenya. So the real the challenge for us today is the cost of power, taxis, looking at incentives, and again, looking at non-tariff barriers to grow the exports across Africa. Nonetheless, for Bitco, the glass is definitely half full. A research study by PNG found that Kenyan consumers spend the bulk of their monthly income on food and drink, whilst others are also willing to pay a pretty penny on personal hygiene products. These are indicators of why fast-moving consumer goods companies have become the ones to watch as the African growth story unfolds. These may ultimately be the firms that become the catalyst to form new industries on the continent.